Hi everyone, John here. Welcome along to another video. I just played through what we're going to learn today. It's a solo from Open Your Heart by G. Wayne Thomas. And this is a request for Matt. Um, thanks very much, Matt, for requesting this. Sorry it's been, took such a long time uh, to do this. Sometimes when I'm at school, uh, I teach during the day and it, you know, when, when you come home, um, you're a bit tired. But anyway, let me break down this, this solo for you. Um, it's a good one. I'll try and explain what's going on. It's in A minor. There's really no uh, tricky bits. Uh, in, in here apart from maybe some bends but uh, let's have a look at the first phrase it goes like this so this is on the 10th fret here on the B can hit that note twice and then what I do here is I bend this note the seventh fret on the high E upper half step That's really the ninth note of the scale, bending into the into the C. Then he goes to this F sharp, which is the six, which is quite nice. BB King used to use that a lot. Then we have this. That's a nice phrase. This is really an F arpeggio. That starts the same, two strikes on that 10 on the B. Then we do this. That's 11 pull off to 10 on the B. 10 on the G. And now we're going, what we're going to do is hammer on from 10 to 12 on the D. 10 back on the G again, and then slide to this E note here on the uh, ninth fret of the G. So um, so let me put those two phrases together for you. Right, there we go. Here's the next phrase. So this is a little bend here, half a step bend, 12 on the B, bend that up twice, and then this, leave it bent up, let down to 12, come back to 10 here on the B string. Next phrase goes like this. This is 12 to 10, and then bend up that 12 again, Okay, so then we have this. This phrase here is on the uh, 10 on the high E. So we're bending this up whole step, that D to E. It's quite a slow bend. Okay, that's eight to ten on the on the high E. Back to eight again, and bend the tenth fret up a whole step. And then we have. That's where you're bending that twelve on the high E up a whole step. Let down to ten. Listen to the record for that phrase and next phrase we have is this now this is a hammer on 13 up to 15 on the B back to 13 and then a quick hammer on 12 to 13 on the B and bend up that 14 on the G and let down. Now on the record his guitar frets out so it sounds like there's something else going on but it's I think his guitar just frets out. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't set up right but okay so okay here's the next phrase this phrase is 14 on the G, 13 on the B. The 
bend twice, 15 on the high, on, sorry, on the B. <laughs> and then to finish off the solo. Now this is a half a step bend on 12 on the high E here. Let down to 12. And then a couple of hammer-ons, 12 to 15, and then 15 to 17. That's where he starts to sing again. And that is the whole solo. So let me go back to the beginning and I'll play it all the way through for you. Just so you can kind of hear how it goes. Now you've got the beginning bit, but uh, let me do it for you again. Okay, so two, three, four. There we go, and that's a solo. Have some fun with that one. Uh, try it with the chords uh, behind you if you can, or even better still, try it with the um, with the song. You know, just for the timing. But it's a nice solo, uh, not not too tricky to play. Some of the others. <laughs> so thanks, Matt. Thanks very much. Hope that was all right. Let me know how you get on, and see you in the next video.